Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between an N95, K95, and KF94. Essentially these are different international respirator standards but each have their own requirements. There are also some other important differences to note as well. Let's get started with the N95. An N95 is an American standard that is regulated by NIOSH and the CDC. These respirators must filter out 95% of non-oil-based airborne particles with a maximum allowable exhalation pressure drop of 25 millimeters of water and inhalation max of 35 millimeters of water. This refers to the breathability of the mask. The lower the number, the more breathable your mask is. And you can check all of our results for each mask that we've tested in the link down below. N95s come in a variety of different styles. The most recognizable style, at least pre-pandemic, was the traditional cup style N95. Nowadays, there's a lot more vertical bifold styles on the marketplace, such as the BNX bifold or the Honeywell. You also have the trifold style or fish mask, like the 3M Aura or the BNX F95. Lastly, you have the horizontal fold or the duckbill style, such as the 3M B Flex the BNX A96 or the Kimberly Clark. You always have to be careful where you purchase any of your masks. So one good thing about N95s is that you can easily verify approved manufacturers on the CDC's website. I'll go ahead and provide you guys with a link in the description box down below. N95 respirators almost always have headbands, but they will never have ear loops. For this reason, N95 masks are able to obtain a better seal against your face. This provides more protection, but it also makes it slightly less convenient to take on and off. So now moving on to the K95. K95 is a Chinese standard. They have become very popular over the recent years, and you can pretty much find K95 masks just about anywhere now. The only problem with K95 is that there's not a whole lot of regulation behind it, and it also tends to be one of the highest numbers of counterfeits. So it's important for you to pick a manufacturer that you trust, that have a strong quality control system, like the BNX or 3M. Most K95 will come in in a vertical bifold style and this mask come with ear loop attachments you will typically not find the same ideal seal with the ear loop mask but typically they do offer a great filtration efficiency k95 mask must always have a filter performance of greater than or equal to 95 percent at an airflow rate of 85 liters per minute similar to the n95 respirators they also must have a maximum inhalation and exhalation pressure drop of 21 millimeters of water based on the GB2626-2019 standard. For example, the BNX K95 mask have the same design and also use the same materials as their N95 mask, but with the ear loop instead of the headband. With that being said, another thing to be careful when it comes to K95 masks is the breathability. Many of the K95 masks we've tested, especially the ones that are manufactured in China, they tend to be a little higher in terms of pressure drop. And finally, we have the popular KF94 standard. This is a regulated standard similar to N95s, but they are manufactured in Korea and have a strictly regulated by Korean FDA. Although we have come across some that are made in China, which essentially they're just knockoff K95s. So it is very important for you to check if they state that they're made in Korea because those are the legit K94s. KF94 face mask must have a filter performance of greater than or equal to 94% at a flow rate of 95 liters per minute. They also have a maximum exhalation pressure drop of 30 millimeters of water and an inhalation max of 24 millimeters of water. The two most common styles or shapes for these masks are your trifold fish style ear loop mask and the vertical bifold ear loop mask. In terms of construction quality, K94s typically tend to be a lot thinner than N95 and K95s while they still offer a great level of filtration efficiency and breathability due to a large sur surface area. However, K94 masks do allow a lot more leakage than N95 because of the ear loops and it's often quite difficult to obtain a good seal. So we really hope that you guys found all of this information helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell notification to get notified every time we upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in our next video.